Hello everybody and welcome to Pilates with Brooke. It is a rainy day on the ranch today, so please excuse the noise. And the pups, they are forced to be inside with me today because it's too muddy and icky outside. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. This class today is an intermediate advanced class, which means that I'm not going to be giving a lot of modifications. So if something is too challenging for you, please modify the best that you can or just take a break and we'll move on to the next exercise as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and have some fun. We're gonna start lengthwise on our mat, on our hands and knees for a little cat cow just to warm the spine up. Roll the shoulders down the back, pull the belly button into the spine, take an inhale through the nose. Exhale, tuck the chin in, tuck the tailbone and round the spine up towards the ceiling, really pushing the floor away from you. And then on the inhale, I want you to begin lifting the tailbone arching through the spine and lifting up out of the shoulders. Again, exhale, tuck the tailbone, scoop the tummy in, tuck the chin in and push yourself away from the floor. Inhale, arch that spine up, looking up and across the room, shoulders down the back one more time, arching that back, or excuse me, rounding the back, scooping that tummy in tight, and then gently coming back to your neutral position. Gently press the hips back to the heels, Slide the hands forward for a downward dog position. From here, take another inhale, and then exhale, round yourself forward to come to a knee plank. Hug the elbows in tight. Inhale, bend the elbows, hugging in by the rib cage. Exhale, push yourself up, and come all the way back to your child's pose. Again, inhale, shift forward, knee plank, shoulders down, and lower, and push up and press back. We have three more of these. Inhale as you shift forward and bend. Exhale as you push up and lengthen back. Two more. Scooping that tummy in tight. Last one. Woo! And exhale, press it back. Beautiful. Now we're gonna shift forward, curl our toes under, find ourselves in a high plank. Shoulders directly over the wrists, pushing through the heels, knees are soft, tailbone is tucked, belly button pulls in tight. From here, I want you to hike your hips up, let the heels soften down to the ground. So you're in a down dog position or an upside down V. Take another inhale here, and then exhale, round yourself forward to come back to your high plank. Again, inhale, lift, exhale, soften the heels down. Inhale, shift forward, exhale and hold. Three more, inhale, lift, exhale, soften the heels down. Inhale, round forward, exhale, hold. Two more. Last one. And hold for 10, eight, Six, pull the shoulders down the back. Two and one, soften to your knees. Untuck the toes and gently press yourself back. Very nice job. Lift yourself up. Let's spin ourselves around. We're gonna go into our hundreds. So laying all the way onto our back. I want you to bring your knees into your chest. Gently rock yourself side to side. Let that spine loosen up. Bring the knees into a tabletop position. Extend the arms long by your side. Arms up and active. Take an inhale. Exhale. Curl the head and chest up. From here, lengthen those legs up to the sky. Externally rotate them. Curl up a little higher. Begin pulsing the arms. Inhaling for five. And exhale. Inhale if you want to challenge. Lengthen the legs away. And exhale. Inhale. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Pulse those arms hard. Squeeze that tummy tight. We have five more. Curl up a little higher. Last three. Last two. Squeeze that tummy tighter. Last one. And bend the knees into the chest. Bring those hands by the ankles. We're going into our single leg stretch. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, curl the head and chest up. 
lengthen the left leg out, fire into the quad, curl up higher, bring the left hand to that right knee, and then switch legs. Pulling that tummy in tight. Good. Curling up as high as you can. Eyes are looking towards your knees, not up to the sky. You gotta find that nice curve in the cervical spine. Two more each leg. And then we're going into our single straight leg stretch, otherwise known as scissors. Straight leg up, pull, pull, and switch. Pull, pull, and switch. Good, curl up a little higher. If your neck starts to ball, you can always let it come down for a moment. Good. Shh, 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 shh. One more each leg starting right here, and then we're gonna go right into our scissors. Fingertips cradle the head, scissors. Shh, shh. Reach that leg to the head, curl up a little higher. We're almost there. Four more each leg, and then we get to rest the neck. Pull that tummy tight. Three, shh, two, last one each leg, and bend the knees in. Woo, we should be getting warmed up. I know I am by this fire. Oh, I shouldn't have added that extra log. <laughs> okay, so double arm, double leg stretch, and then double leg lower lift. Fingertips once again to the ankles. Take an inhale. Exhale, curl the head and chest up. Inhale, extend the arms and the legs, sweep the arms wide and tuck the knees back in as you exhale. Again, inhale, reach, pull the tummy in. Exhale, shh, shh, three more. Shh, keep that back flat against the mat. Keep the arms in your peripheral vision. Last one here, hold. Give me heel beats for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Circle it out, bend the knees and let the head rest. Good, double leg lower lift. Remember to keep the back flat against the mat. Fingertips cradle the back of the head. Take an inhale. Exhale, curl the head and chest up. Reach those legs up, externally rotate them. Pull the tummy tight. Inhale as you lengthen away. Don't breathe into the belly, breathe into the chest. Exhale, bring those legs straight up. Again, inhale, lengthen, back stays flat against the mat. Exhale it up, four more here. Pull that tummy and squeeze the legs together. Can you curl up any higher? Last three. Try and get those shoulder blades off the mat. Last two. Pull the tummy in. One more here. Bend the knees into the chest. Let the head rest. Gently rock yourself side to side. I got my big fur boy over here with me. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna go into our crisscross capone. <laughs> so knees into the chest, capone, you can't do that. <laughs> Fingertips cradle the head. Take an inhale, exhale, you're curling yourself up. Extend your right leg out. Take your right chest up and across towards that left knee. Now, shifting across the base of your shoulder blades, switch to the other side. And again, so staying curled up as high as you can. Make sure you don't lower down as you cross from one side to the other. Actively reach the legs long. They're not just flopping out there. Keep those elbows wide in your peripheral vision. Good. Shh. Shh. Four more each side. Four. Shh. Three. Shh. Two. Last one each side, and then the knees in. Fabulous work. Okay, we're gonna go into a little bridge to open our hips up. Capone, gotta have you move, dude. <laughs> you gotta move. <laughs> Sorry, arms long by your side, shoulder blades down, finding a neutral pelvis. Take a deep inhale for me. Feet hip width apart, exhale. Let's just pop the hips up. Okay, so no articulation of the spine right now. We are just opening into the front of the pelvis, squeezing into the glutes, tucking the tailbone towards the back of the thighs. Shoulder blades are pinched together, back of the neck is long, take an inhale. And now exhale, we slowly roll down, one vertebrae at a time. That tailbone resists coming down until that lower back firmly presses in. Then you can arch the back up to let the tailbone come down. Again, popping straight up, Shh. pull the tummy in, tuck the tailbone, articulate the spine down, 
one vertebrae at a time. So stretching those multifidus muscles, all the muscles in between the vertebrae. Take one more inhale. And now exhale, we pop up. Now we tap down, no articulation, and lift up and lower. Good, squeezing into the gluteus maximus, really pushing our feet equally into the mat. We have seven more here. Pulling the tummy in tight. Making sure you're activating through the glutes. The lower back is engaged as well, but you should not feel a lot of discomfort there. I've lost count. Let's do three more here. Three, good, two, and hold it up, little pulses, release and squeeze. Good, two, three, really push those feet equally into the mat. Don't roll to the outside of those feet. You have four more here, four, three, two, last one, hold it up. Walk your feet a toe width closer towards each other. Squeeze the right bottom, pull the belly button in tight and lift your left knee. Make sure the pelvis is parallel to the floor. Lengthen that left leg up. Flex the foot. Inhale as you lengthen it away. Pushing through the heel, keeping the pelvis parallel. Point the toe, kick the leg up. Again, flex and lower, point and lift. Two more, flex and lower, point and lift. Last one, then we reverse directions on the flexing and pointing. Keep the toe pointed, inhale, lower, flex the foot, kick it up for two counts, kick, kick, point the toe, lengthen, flex the foot, kick it up, kick, kick, two more, inhale, flex it, last one, hold that flex foot up, pulse the hips up for 10, squeeze that right bottom, you got this, nine, eight, it should burn, seven, six, get that foot up there, five, four, I promise to stretch, three, two, one hold, bring that left knee, left foot all the way down. Inhale, center out the pelvis. Exhale, round yourself down. Beautiful. We're going to stretch that right hip out. That puppy should have been on fire. Okay. Cross the right ankle onto that left thigh. Curl up. Take your hands. Wrap around that left leg. Pull the knee in. Let the head come back down. So the right elbow goes to the inside or the inner thigh on that right thigh. Flex that right foot and gently pull the leg in. Good. As you push with the elbow on that right inner thigh. Take a couple deep breaths. You can gently rock a little bit towards that left hand side, feeling that work or that stretch into the right gluteus maximus. Good. And now release. Center yourself out. We're coming back up to work the left leg. Arms long by your side. Neutral pelvis. Inhale. Exhale. Pop your hips up. Squeeze into the glutes. Okay, you ready? Bring the right knee into tabletop. Good. So really engage into that left leg. Push that left foot firmly into the floor. Arms long by your side. Back of the neck is long. Reach the right leg up. Good. You're going to flex the foot. Lower it down, keep the pelvis parallel, point the right toe, bring it up for four. Flex it, reach it long, point and lift it up. Two more, flex and lower, pull the tummy in, point and lift. Last one, flex, lower, point, lift. Now keep the toe pointed, inhale, reach it away, flex the foot, kick it up for two pulses, kick, kick. Inhale, point and lengthen, flex, kick. Kick, inhale, point to length and flex. Shh, shh, last one. Shh, shh, hold that flex foot up, pulse the hips up for 10, squeeze it. Nine, you got this. Eight, seven, six, squeeze it. Five, four, push that foot up there. Three, two, and one. Bend that right knee, lower the right foot down, center the hips out, take an inhale. And exhale, round yourself down, one vertebrae at a time. Fabulous. Bring that left ankle up onto that right knee. Curl the head and chest up. Grab on behind that right thigh. Let the head come back down. Flex that left foot. So that ankle is at 90 degrees. Gently pull the right leg in as you push the left inner thigh away from you. Good. Take nice deep breaths here. 
and now gently lean just a little bit towards that right hand side. Oh, that feels so good. Good stretch. And then gently release. We're gonna come into some modified teasers. So you're gonna bring your knees into your tabletop position. I want you to squeeze your legs together. Arms come to the ceiling. Inhale, reach the arms just a little bit overhead. Exhale, curl the head and chest up. Kick the legs out and bring yourself up into your modified teaser. So it's modified because our knees are bent. Pull the belly button in tight. Inhale, reach the arms up, pull the shoulders down, and then round yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Again, inhale. Exhale it up, curl it up, kick the legs out, squeeze that tummy tight. Inhale, reach, shoulders down. Exhale, round it down. We have three more like this. Slow and controlled. Try to take the momentum out of it. Reach it up, pull the tummy in, shoulders down. Round it down. Last two. Curl it up. Squeeze that belly button in. Reach it up and lower it back down. One more here. Inhale. Exhale. Curl it up. Hold here. Kick your right leg up. Ooh. Bend it. Kick the left leg and bend. Two more each side. Right. Left. One more each side. Right. Pull the tummy in and bend. Left and bend. Squeeze the legs together. Reach the arms up and round yourself all the way down. Grab onto your thighs. Beautiful. Hands go behind the thighs. Tuck the chin in. Rock yourself up. And we flip all the way over onto our stomachs. Good. Forehead is down on the ground. Hands are next to the chest. Elbows tucked in by the rib cage. Toes are pressed firmly into the mat. Squeeze the bottom to push the pelvis into the floor. And then inhale, lift through the head and chest. Keep the pelvis grounded and then lower back down. Again, pull the tummy in, squeeze the bum. Inhale, lift, open through the front body. And then exhale, lower down. We do it one more time. Shoulders down, gently press into the mat, squeeze the bottom. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower it down, beautiful. From here, we're gonna put ourselves out into a T, teacupping our fingers onto the floor. From here, I want you to once again, squeeze the bottom, press the feet into the mat, pull the belly button in and up, inhale, lift the head and chest. You're not gonna come up quite as high because now we're working more into the back extensor muscles rather than using the arms to lift. And now lower back down. One more time like that. Once again, inhale, lift through the head and chest, Eyes looking just to the top of your mat. Pull the shoulders away from the ears and lower down. Now reach the arms out wide to the side. Pull the tummy in. Squeeze the bum. Lift the head and chest. So now we're taking all of the work out of the arms and putting it into our spine. Pulse the arms up towards the ceiling. Pinching the shoulder blades together for 10, 9, 8, good, 7, 6. Squeeze the back. Four, body stay still, just the arms moving. Two more. And now hold it here. Bend the elbows by your side, thumbs touching your shoulders. Head and chest are still lifted. Inhale, reach your right arm up by your ear, and then exhale, bring it back down. Left arm, inhale, reach it up by the ear. Exhale, bring it back down. Right one, reach it, pull the tummy in. Exhale, left one. Exhale, now both pull the tummy in, inhale, reach. Exhale, pull those elbows down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull them down. One more time, then we'll rest our spine. Inhale, lengthen, pull that tummy in. Exhale, pull it down, lower the head and chest. Bring the hands next to the chest. Dig your knees and lift your hips up. Push yourself all the way back into child's pose. It should feel really good on your spine. Good. Reach those arms nice and long. Gently let that lower back release. Good. So now we're going to go into our full breast stroke. That was kind of a prep for it. So we're going to shift ourselves all the way back down to the floor. 
Good, forehead is on the mat, fingertips right by the shoulders, thumb touching the shoulders, elbows by the rib cage. Pull the belly button in, squeeze the bottom, lift the head and chest. From here, we're gonna lift our legs as well. So squeeze the bum, reach those legs up. Ready? Inhale, extend the arms by the ear, turn the palms out. Exhale, sweep the arms wide, lift the head and chest a little higher. Lower slightly, bend the elbows. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, sweep and lift a little higher. Bend and lower slightly, three more. Exhale, reach. Bend and lower, last two. Exhale, reach. Good. One more here, you guys. Inhale, exhale, reach it, and lower yourself down. Good. Hands next to the chest. Dig the knees up. Let's get a wisdom pose. So this time our knees are wide, big toes together. Walk those hands out and gently stretch. You can rock side to side. Let that lower back release. Good. Okay, so now we're going to come onto our forearms for a forearm plank. Whew. Okay, hands parallel to each other. Okay, we're not interlacing our fingers. We're going to be working a little bit into our deltoids during this plank. Extend one leg out, push through the heel, tuck the tailbone, pull the tummy in, extend the other. Good. From here, inhale, shift forward on your tippy toes, exhale, push back. So when we shift forward, think of your back muscles engaging, okay? Like you're pulling with the triceps and the teres and the latissimus dorsi, and push back. Again, inhale, shift, exhale, push back. The other thing is really pull that tummy in tight. Inhale, scoop the tummy in as you shift forward, and push it back. Good, inhale, forward, and back. Good, five more here. Squeeze the tummy in. Good, three more. Excuse me, four more. <laughs> My counter is not very good. Inhale, squeeze the tummy, push it back. Last two. And push it back. One more here. And push it back and hold. Good. Squeeze that tummy in. About 15 more seconds here. Shoulders pull away from the ears. 10, 8, 6, 4, scoop that tummy in tight. 2, and soften to your knees. Push yourself back. Child's pose. Bring the hands by the feet. Bring those hands behind you. Interlace the fingers. Reach the arms to the sky. Really tuck the chin in. Whew. Release. Bring yourself up. We're going to do a little sideline series and then we'll be done. Good. Whoo, that rain is noisy. So we're going to come to lay all the way on our side, okay? We're going to go into a modified banana. I want you to take your top foot, push it in the scrum, lift the hip up, and pull this hip forward just a little bit. So you're resting on the fleshy part of your hip and not your hip bone. Your bottom leg is off the front of the mat. Top leg goes to extend to meet it, and then you squeeze the legs together into Pilates stance. So the pelvis is open to the sky, okay? We are not stacked with the hips. You are open. Pull the tummy in tight. Bring the fingertips to the ear. Inhale. Exhale, lift. And lower. Good. So working right into the obliques, squeezing those legs together. Good. We have six more here. Pull that tummy in. Four. Three. Two. Last one, hold it. Give me heel beats for 10, nine, eight, six, four, two, one. Hold it there. Pull the tummy in tighter, see if you can lift the legs a little higher and lower it down. Beautiful. Okay, let's come up onto our forearm. Now we stack our legs. Little side kick series, and then we'll flip to the other side. Fingertips come up. Make sure you don't sink into the shoulder. Push the floor away from you. Top leg lifts up straight out from the hip. Kick the foot forward for one, two. Point the toes, slide it behind, squeeze the bottom. Try not to arch the back. Flex the foot, kick, kick. Exhale, squeeze it back, good. Three more here. 
action. Last two. Good. One more. And now bring that leg parallel, toe pointed. Good. Make sure your knee is straight forward. Small circles for 10, 8, 6. Yes, you're working your obliques here. And reverse directions. 10, 8. Good. Small circles. 6, 4, 2, one hot potato, tap the toe in front, lift heel back. Toe front, don't sink into that shoulder. Heel back. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Three more. Last one. And then let the legs rest. Bend your knees in. Shift yourself up. We're going to do a mermaid to stretch that side out. So once you come up, I want you to flip your legs. I want you to stagger them, both sit bones as grounded as possible. Grab onto your shin, reach the arm of the side that we just worked up to the sky. Take an inhale, exhale, lift up, and then lengthen over, shoulders down the back. You can slide that bottom hand towards the knee. Got holding here, really lifting up out of the pelvis, shoulders down and then reaching over, so really creating that open arc in the side body. And then you can turn and look to the sky and reach just a little farther. And then gently bring yourself up, come all the way down. You're set up for the other side. Arm goes long, bottom leg goes off. Push the foot in, lift up, pull that hip forward to get your pelvis in the proper position. Top leg extends, legs lift. Okay, so if you have a hard time getting those legs off the ground, shift your hips back just a little bit more. Squeeze the legs together. Fingertips come to your elbow or to your ear, and let's pulse those legs up for ten, nine, eight, good, seven, six, five, four. Squeeze that tummy in three. Got to engage those transverse abdominals as well as those obliques. Last one. Hold it up, legs active, pulse them. 10, eight, six, four, two, one, hold. Squeeze those legs together, reach them long, pull the tummy tighter, lift the legs a little higher, and lower it down, fabulous. Okay, we're almost done. Bring yourself up onto that elbow. Good, legs go long, hips are stacked. You're in a straight line. Don't sink into that shoulder. Push the floor away. Engage those back muscles. Fingertips up. Top leg lifts. Really lengthening straight up from the hip. You're not working up here, okay? Bring that leg forward for two counts. Kick, kick, point the toes, slide it back, squeeze the bottom. Don't arch the back. Flex the foot. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze the bottom. Again. Good. Two more here. Shh, don't sink into that shoulder. Last one. Shh, toe stays pointed. Legs come parallel. Knee pointed forward. Don't externally rotate here. Small circles. Ten. Eight. Six. Four. Two. And reverse it. Lift up out of that shoulder. Good. Six more. Four. Three, two, one. Tap the toes in front. Lift heel back. Good. Push that floor away with that elbow. Nice. Four more. Shh. Shh. Obliques are working. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I'm sweating up a storm in here. God. Last two. <laughs> one more. Good. And now let that leg rest. Bend the knees in. Lift yourself up, flip the legs, stagger them, <sighs> grab on, reach the arm up, shoulders down, inhale, exhale, lift and lengthen over. Good. Remember, you're lifting up from the pelvis and then reaching over, like you're rounding over a ball that's on your side body. Shoulders pull away and then look to the sky, open the chest just a little bit. That bottom hand can come to that knee. 
Give you a little grip. Reach, reach, reach. And then bring yourself up. And we are done. Fabulous work, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the workout. And um, hopefully the next time I see you, we won't have this rainy noise, although it's kind of peaceful and comforting. Um, anyways, have a fabulous day. So glad you came. So glad you worked out. Keep up the awesome job. It'd be hot. It'd be hot, Mr. It'd be hot. Yeah. I love you. I love you, buddy. I love you. Okay.